I feel really bad about spying on my girlfriend. She's been acting so weird lately. I hope it isn't anything too big. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Yeah, I know, right? I got a big personality and I got a big motorcycle and I even got a huge yacht. What? She's cheating on me? Oh, you're so lucky to be with me. Hey, Gabby, what's your problem? Why would you do this? Uh, George, what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? You're making a scene. What? I'm making a scene? You're the one who betrayed my trust. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this guy bothering you, ma'am? Yes, this guy was spying on me and it's so rude. You're literally my girlfriend. What are you talking about? Oh, no, we got a freak. Here. All right, we gotta take you into the station, man. Are you kidding? I'm literally just standing there. No, you're causing a commotion around this entire pier. Now you're coming with me. And that guy was ridiculous. And I can't believe she's hanging around with another dude. Hey, George, are you all right? Am I all right? Gabby, I'm not talking to you. We're done. Wait, George, you're making a mistake. I'm making a mistake? You're the one who decided to cheat on me. You don't even know what happened. That wasn't actually a date, silly. That guy was just a friend of mine. Yeah, right. I heard you guys giggling. I know a date when I see you. You're one. literally overthinking. Can you just stop? You know what? You're right. I don't mean to overreact. We haven't been really hanging out as much, and I'm really. Whatever, it's fine. Maybe we should go to a nice dinner. That'll cheer me up. A uh, dinner? Yeah. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Hey, man, wait. What time is it? Oh, I was supposed to be at work two hours ago. Oh, I'm sorry, Gabby. I have to go. Bye. Later. Yeah. Yeah. He totally believed it. What a total loser. I hope my manager understands why I'm late. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I recognize you. You're Tina. You're like my new neighbor, right? Yeah, I just moved in the other day. Um, are you okay? Everybody's talking about what happened at the pier this morning. Oh, yeah. It was just one big misunderstanding. It's no big deal. Wait, but was she really cheating on you? Well, I hope she wasn't. I mean, she told me she wasn't, so I guess I have to trust her. I don't know what to believe, to be honest. Well, in the end, I know that you're smart, and you'll make the right call. Well, really, uh... Thanks. Um, I have to go to work. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Okay, I'll see you around. Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to show up. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean to be late. I don't care what you meant. You were late, so where were you, huh? You were supposed to be here like three hours Listen, ago. Sir, there's just a misunderstanding with my girlfriend. I was held up by security. Security? Nah, 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 dude. You're fired. You're crazy, man. What? Oh, no, please. I really need this job. I have to pay Do I look like the type of guy that likes to repeat himself? Now get lost, loser, before I cut the carry on you again. This place is pretty nice, right, Gabby? Yeah, it is really expensive. Well, yeah, I'm just really happy to be here with you, and I'm glad we could just get over our little misunderstanding before. Yeah, yeah, you're always overreacting to things. Anyways, waiter, can we get some more water? It has been like 30 seconds since you were last here. Try my best, man. Hey, Gabby, don't be so rude to the waiter. I'm literally not. You keep yelling halfway across the restaurant. Shut up. Can we have $1,000 steaks, please? What? You know I can't afford that right now. I just lost a job because of everything. It's all right. I'll help pitch in, too. Chaw, oh, what's up, babe? Oh, my gosh, Dad. What are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean, what am I doing here, Gabby? We had plans tonight. Oh, George, I am so sorry. I forgot Chad and I are going to a Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving? It's March. Chaw, why are you asking so many questions, man? Are you, like, insecure or something? Dude, back off. I'm having dinner with my girlfriend. Well, not anymore. I'm gonna go. See you later. What, are you kidding me? She's leaving again? I don't believe this. Um, so about those stakes, here's your bill. $2,000? I can't pay for this. Well, you're gonna have to find a way to work for it then. Poor loser. I can't believe she left me at the restaurant. And with a huge bill too, man. She told me she would pitch in as well. I don't believe this. Mm, hi. Oh, so there you are. So what's your deal, Gabby? The way you treated me last night was not okay at all. Well, my friend Chad has like a lot going on right now and he totally needed my support. So I had to go. You couldn't have communicated that to me before you left? I just didn't want to put Chad on the spot or whatever. You're being a lot. Can you back off real quick? I'm not going to back off. You made me spend almost $2,000 last night and then you left with no explanation. Okay, yeah. I am sorry. I know we've been together for years. We just can't let these little things bother us. I don't view them as little things, all right? This is our relationship we're talking about here. I feel like I'm being manipulated. What? That's not the case at all. Can you just chill out? Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, there you are. Oh, what's up, Mr. Stevens? Uh, what can I do for you? I just want to remind you that rent is due in a week. So don't be late like you usually are. Oh, uh, of course, sir. Because whoever's late this month gets kicked out and put on the streets. Trust me when I say, you don't want to be that guy, pal. My jeez, dude. I told you I'd pay it. <laughs> Whatever, man. <sighs> Great. I need to get a new job.
Oh, another lost job. I can't believe this. I'm never going to find a job. Oh, is that George? What's up, man? Oh, hey, Chad. What do you want? Oh, just take it easy, man. All right. I just came over to say hi. I don't really want to say hi to somebody who's been trying to spend so much time with my girlfriend. Yeah, well, it's like not what you think like at all. Okay. We've just known each other for like years. If that's the case. Then why am I only meeting you now? It's pretty convenient to your story. Yeah, well, I just, like, kind of moved back from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and, like, listen, man, bro to bro, I would never do anything to, like, jeopardize, like, your guys' relationship life. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, man, like, we're just, like, friends. Like, you have my word. Gabby really needs you right now, man. You should go be with her and stuff. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. I'm sorry for overreacting, Chad. You're not that bad a guy after all. I'm happy Gabby has a good friend like you. Uh, I got more places to apply to. Uh, I'll catch up with you later, man. Uh, yeah, hello? Yeah, like, like that idiot has, like, no idea at all. <laughs> man, so far, no luck. Hopefully this ice cream shop will take me. Hey, wait, is that Tina? Oh, uh, man, I can't let her see me. This is so embarrassing. George? Hey, George, what are you doing here? Oh, man, uh, hi, Tina. So, uh, how are things with Gabby? Oh, yeah, uh, everything's actually going pretty good. Apparently her friend was just going through a lot. Oh, well, at least everything worked out. Yeah, totally. It I don't know how I feel about it, though. Her friend gives me weird vibes. You want any ice cream? <laughs> what? Uh, no. Um, I actually came here to apply. Kind of embarrassed for you to see me. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. This is the best job in the world. You know what? I'll put in a good word for you with my manager. Hey, Ralph! You're hired. The shift starts in five minutes. Oh, wow. That was fast. Man, Tina, you really helped me out like that? Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tina. It really means a lot. Hey, Gabby, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for the way I acted when I first met Chad, you know? I really like you, and I just want you to know that. It's okay. You have to know I would never do anything to hurt you, right? Well, yeah, of course. I know that now. I talked to Chad, and he explained everything. He's actually pretty cool. I actually kind of like him. Maybe we could keep hanging out or something. Oh, George, you're just the sweetest guy that, like, I've ever been with. Also, do you have any money on you? Wait, what? Oh, um, I just wanted to get us something, but I forgot my purse. Uh, okay, uh, here's some money. Thank you. Oh, man, that date was great. What did you think, Gabby? Eh, I had an okay time. Okay, um, what was wrong with it? It seemed like you were having a lot of fun. Well, we didn't even spend that much money, so why would I have fun? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it was such a horrible experience, so, like, I have to go. What? Go? Where are you going? Bye! I cannot believe how she's been acting lately. Oh, man, this just keeps ditching me whenever she feels like. That's not cool. Oh, hi, George. Oh, uh, hey, Tina. What's going on? Not much, but it looks like you have a lot going on yourself. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, yeah. It's actually getting a little better now. You can tell me all about it. Wow, that sounds horrible. How could she act that way? It's not fair to you. I know, right? She's acting insane. I'm just happy to know that I'm not crazy now, you know? No, I understand. I mean, wow, this is the first time I've actually seen you genuinely happy. It's kind of nice. Well, now thinking about it, every time I've been with Gabby, I haven't really been happy at all. Wait, I haven't been happy at all. You know what? That's it. I'm doing it. I'm finally going to break up with Gabby. Hey, Gabby, we need to talk. Ugh. George, I thought I told you I didn't want to see you for the rest of the night. Yeah, I know, but this can't wait. Gabby, we're through. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> you can't break up with me. Who's going to pay for all my things? Well, you know what? I don't know, and I don't care. If you only valued me when I bought you stuff, and this relationship meant nothing to begin with. No, no, no! Ah, I can't believe you would do this! You know what? Take this! Ah, 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 ah. Not kill. Mind your business! You have nothing to do with this! Gabby, quit throwing a fit! I'm sorry, but we're just not right together. Our values don't match at all, and honestly, I'm just not happy with you. I hope you can find someone better, maybe happy with somebody else, but I can't be with you anymore. Bye, Gabby. Wait, what? No! You're gonna pay for this! Hey, Tina, thanks for being, like, the only nice person to me throughout all this. I'm such a wonderful friend ever since I met you. I only see the good in you. So, of course, I know how smart you are, and you don't deserve to be with somebody who treats you like that. Oh, man, well, you know, you really mean that? Of course I do. You're so much fun to be around. Oh, Tina, I really like hanging around you, too. Oh, man, I'm going to be late for work. Okay, well, I'll see you later tonight, then. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds great. See you later. Bye. Bye, George. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. But a good day of work, nonetheless. Wait a minute. Gabby? Um, hi. Gabby, what are you doing here? 
Wait, why are all your things here? Um, so like, I'm moving in now. You're what? No, you're not. Um, yeah, I am. My place won't let me live there for free. And you know I'm not gonna ever get a job. Well, that sounds like your problem, not mine. You have to leave right now. Um, no, I don't want to. Plus, all of my stuff is here. I broke up with you for these reasons exactly, Gabby. You don't think about anybody but yourself. So you don't care about me anymore? You don't care that I will be living on the streets? It's cold and dark. I can't believe you would do that with somebody that you used to care about. So what, I'm literally the last person you can live with? Yeah, it's either you or the streets. And honestly, it's much better than the street. <sighs> Listen, fine. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Just, you can stay here for one week. That's it. After that, you have to go. No exceptions. <laughs> okay, sure. We'll see about that. The Triple Fudge Sunday. Have a great day. Ah, oh, this ice cream's the best! Yo, hey, what's up, loser? Chad, what's your problem, dude? I'm just working. Yo, whatever, dude. Now that you're not with, like, Gabby or whatever, I could finally just be myself and stop pretending to be nice to you. What are you talking about? Yo, it's like no wonder that Gabby kept trying to hang out with me instead of you, dude. Like, I'm just, like, a better person than you in general, and I've been wanting to tell you this for, like, so long. Like, hey, back off, man. Yo, nah. Why would she ever want to be around some dork like you? Especially now that you work at an ice cream shop. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what, dude? You and Gabby are the same. You both deserve each other. Chaw, and you, like, deserve to be alone. You know what, Chad? That's enough, dude. I gotta work. Get out of here. Chaw, whatever. I don't even want ice cream anyway. I gotta keep you down. Where is Chad? He's supposed to be here. Oh, what's up, babe? Uh, what were you even doing? I told you to meet me here like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, well, I just saw like George going to work with this stupid ice cream outfit. And I thought, why not stop by and like make fun of him a little bit, like deteriorate his mindset, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's such a pathetic loser. You're so hot for that. Thanks for checking in on him. Yeah, so like, is this like the dump where he lives? Honestly, I think you're better off in the streets, babe. Yeah, this place is so cramped and small. It's kind of pathetic, but he is letting me stay here because I told him I had nowhere else to go. But you know what we should do, right? You should, like, totally take this place for yourself. Wait, what? What do you mean? Yeah, if you have the right lawyer and, like, my dad is, like, a super, super duper sick lawyer, then, like, you can get him kicked out of here by adding, like, your name to the lease and stuff and then, like, removing his. Oh, my gosh. This is why I love you. Chad, you're so smart. Let's go do that. Let's kick him out. Yeah, pretty soon, this guy is going to be the one living on the street. Wow, George, it's been so amazing having you at work with me. It makes the time fly by so much faster. Yeah, I know, right? But at the same time, I just wish it lasted a little longer. Listen, Tina, I've been thinking. Uh, what are you thinking about? Oh, it's just like, you're so nice to me, and I think you're really funny and sweet, right? Oh, George, I think you're all those things, too. With that said, I was wondering, maybe you want to go on a date with me to the bowling alley tomorrow night? It's about time you've asked me. I've been waiting for you this whole time. Oh, seriously? That's great. Well, I gotta go. Oh, uh, can I walk you home? Yeah, I'd really like that. <laughs> Strike! Again! Man, you're not that good at this. Well, you know, I'm just a little tired, so I'm letting you win. I wouldn't want to beat you on the first date. Whatever. You're just upset because I keep winning. Yeah, okay, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> this has been so much fun. I've been having a great time with you, Tina. Uh, what are you doing here, George? Oh, hi, Gabby. You know, this is my ex-girlfriend, Gabby. Oh, uh, it's nice to meet you, Gabby. Whatever. George, how could you do this to me? You just move on without giving me a second chance? Gabby, I gave you a million chances. Plus, you're a horrible person. I don't want to be with you. I'm not horrible. You are. Well, you don't treat me well at all. Tina treats me well. I actually like being around her. Well, you have another thing coming. Here. Hey! Gabby, are you kidding me? Tina, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's okay. So sorry about that. Oh, she is the worst. Hey! Oh! Uh, Gabby, what do you want? I, like, came here to tell you to stay away from my boyfriend, okay? Um, you and George broke up. Y'all aren't dating anymore. Yeah, but we're, like, totally still together. George is just, like, lying to you. He does that sometimes. We live together, so, like, how could we not be dating? Um, Gabby, I'm not going to believe anything that you say. Well, me and George have been together for years, which is so long, and we're meant to be. So I'm not going to let somebody like you come in and ruin everything. Gabby, you treat George so terribly, and you don't deserve to be with him. Oh my gosh, you're such a liar. George and I treat each other with nothing but respect. 
Tina, you're such a loser. You don't deserve to be with somebody like George. Can't believe you would say that. <laughs> Gabby is living with me, but only for a week. She told me she needed a place to stay right now, and I felt bad if I just left her out in the streets. Sorry for not telling you sooner. It's okay. It just it threw me off guard, and she was just saying so many things, and it just really hurt my feelings. I know. I completely understand. It's just I never meant to hide anything from you. I just thought it would make things weird, you know? And that sucks because you're like one of the most important things in my life right now, Tina. And you're so important to me too. It just, I wish you would have told me sooner. Of course, of course. I, I really like spending time with you and you've gotten me through some of the toughest times this year. Oh, George, do you really mean that? Yes, 100%. I would never do anything to try and hurt you, Tina. I promise, things will get better for us. You just gotta keep moving forward. Oh, that is you, Gabby. What are you doing here? Um, I just wanted to know, like, how was your day? Yeah, it doesn't really matter how it was. Why are you here? <sighs> okay, well, I want you to dump Tina right now. Why would I do that? I deserve to be with you, not her. Well, Tina, no, I'm not going to do that at all. Tina is amazing. It's probably the best thing that happened to my life right now. Also, the week is almost up. You need to pack your bags and leave my place tonight. Um, no. Uh <laughs> whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Did you just kiss me? George? I can't believe this. Oh, Tina, no, no, no. This isn't what it looks like, I promise. What do you mean it's not what it looks like? I just saw you kiss her. No, I promise. She just jumped on me. She is- No, George, I expected a lot more out of you. <laughs> I just can't believe this. But no, 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 Tina, come back. <sighs> That's it. Gabby, I'm done with you. Pack your bags and leave my house now. Get out of my life. I'm not kidding, Gabby. Pack your bags and get out now. Sup, brah. What? Chad? Are you kidding me? You're not allowed in here. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Gabby, leave and take your boyfriend with you. Um, yeah. About me moving out? No. What are you talking about? This is my house. I'm not going to ask again. Get out. <laughs> well, technically, it's my lease now. I just removed you from it. You did what? Haha, <laughs> Chaw, thanks for the house, you loser. Chad, not another word out of you, I swear. Gabby, you've gone way too far. You have to stop this. Yeah, sorry, but mm, no. Bye bye. Chaw, like, you're like so dumb, dude. You didn't even realize your own house was getting, like, taken away from you. Like, haha, <laughs> so pathetic. Leave now. Oh, she isn't going to get away with this. I can't believe this. I'm practically homeless. I gotta clear things up with Tina. I gotta tell her this is just one big misunderstanding. George, what are you doing here? Tina, please, I, I need to talk to you. About what? I don't want to see you. No, oh, Tina, please, just, li just listen to me. Chad and Gabby kicked me out of my own house. They, they took everything from me. I, I have nowhere left to go. George, how is this my problem? I know, Tina, I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's really complicated for me right now. I just would rather not be a part of all of this. It's so much. What? No, 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 Tina, please. You're like the best thing that's ever happened to me right now. You make me so happy. Yeah? If I made you so happy, why did you kiss her? I didn't. She kissed me. What about work? We still have to see each other. You can obviously still work there. I just, I can't see you anymore. George, I'm sorry, but you have to go. No, Tina, no, please. Oh, man. I don't believe this. What am I going to do now? I never thought I actually need help from him like this. Hello? Uh, George? What are you doing here? Uh, hey, Dad. How have you been? I know I haven't talked to you in a long time. Yeah, I know. You've been uh, really busy with work, huh? What seems to be going on? Well, that's the thing. See, I, I actually really need a place to stay. What? What happened to your house? <sighs> you know what? Just come in. Explain everything to me. Wow. A lot's happened to you within these last couple of weeks. But it sounds like you really like this Tina girl, huh? Oh, yeah. I think I really do. This entire situation has put that on a halt and it's made just a mess of things. Listen, son, all of this started off with Gabby and then went on to Tina. There's one person that you're not prioritizing through all of this. Yeah, who's that? Yourself. You need to prioritize loving yourself before you can start loving someone else. All of this started because of Gabby, and it's not because you wanted Gabby to love you. It's just because you wanted a person to love you in general. Oh, I never thought of it. Listen, you're my son, and I'm being honest when I say you can't let all of your happiness rest on someone else. You need to be happy with yourself before anything. You know what? I think you're actually right. I'm focusing on everyone around me, and I haven't been really focusing on myself at all. I promise, Dad. I I'm going to work hard, and I'm going to get my own place soon again. I know you will, and don't worry about Tina. I promise if you focus on yourself and you think she's the right girl, then she'll come around. You'll see.
And just sign right here, and there you go. The house is all yours. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, my dad was right. All this hard work is actually starting to pay off. Oh, look at this. You actually spent money on this dump? <laughs> what a loser. Yeah, even for you, George, this is, like, really sad. Well, you know, I kind of had no choice because I was robbed by my crazy ex-girlfriend. So, how's the house holding up? Um, we actually lost it a couple days ago because we had to pay rent. Gabby, when are you going to learn? You have to start putting work in at some point in your life. What does that even mean? I don't know. I've never heard of this work thing he's talking about. Cha, I mean, we don't need that to be happy. Look at us. We're like together now and we're like the happiest couple ever. Isn't that right, Gabby? Mm, yeah. Okay. And good for you guys. I don't really care. Oh my gosh, George, you're just upset because I like cheated on you. Yeah, it's so funny, right? <laughs> you guys want to act like children, go ahead. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Just get lost. I can't believe you just leave us like that. And do you let him talk to me that way? Yeah, don't worry, babe. I'll show that punk a lesson for disrespecting you. <laughs> Cha. Gosh, these floors are filthy. At least my shift is almost over. I knew I'd find you here. Chad, we're closed. Can you leave? No, I'm not going anywhere. Didn't you listen to me before? I just want to move on. Just get out of my life, dude. No, not after the way that you talked to Gabby. You guys were the ones who were rude to me first. I just stood up for myself. Yeah, and I'm going to show you why that was the wrong decision, buddy. I'm not going to ask you again, Chad. Leave. All right, I've had enough. Cha! Cha, take this! Oh, hey, what the heck is wrong with you, man? I'm having so much fun! You think you can talk to me that way, buddy? Give me that! What are you doing? Oh, well, you just made Chad mad, dude! Ha! Hey, what's going on over here? What's with all the noise? George, did you do this? What? No, no, it was this guy. He can't start destroying everything. There's no one else here, you idiot. The door is locked. Listen, George, you've been a great employee, but I have to fire you. I can't let this slide. Uh, no, no, sir, please. I need this job. Fortunately, there's nothing you can do. Now get out! Yeah, when I confronted George, I totally, like, kept my cool, too. Wow, is he, like, fired? Honestly, after all of that, I think he is. Everything in that store is, like, smashed to pieces. Oh my gosh, Chad, you're such a romantic. And speaking of romance, isn't this, like, where we had our first date? <laughs> I'm, like, on top of the world right now. I don't even understand what you're saying. <laughs> Chad, you're not even listening to me when I ask you something. Gabby, I was, like, literally telling you a story about how I'm, like, the perfect human being, and I got your loser ex-boyfriend out of your life. Can you just, like, stop talking and listen to what I have to say? I don't care about our first date. Oh, my gosh, Chad. I can't believe you would say something like that to me. I can't believe that you can't even, like, handle the truth, babe. Oh, my gosh. Calm down. I'm literally so calm, okay? You know, George would never treat me like this. Yeah, well, George also doesn't have a job, and, like, he's, like, a loser and whatever. Like, am I a loser? Like, no. No, I'm not. I'm Chad. Yeah, but he paid for things. When was the last time you paid something for me? Doesn't matter, babe. You're like with me now. It was also like a pretty lame move for you to have like dated this loser in the past, but like I'm totally overlooking it. I don't even know like what to say right now. Don't say anything. I think there's like a yacht party over there. Let's go. Can't believe they have no cameras in this place. I blame for everything. It sucks. Whoa, George, where are you going with all of your stuff? Oh, hey, Tina. Well, Chad came by and smashed everything, and the manager didn't believe it was him and blamed me. So I got fired, and I had to come get my stuff. Well, I guess that means that I won't see you anymore, huh? Yeah, well, not here, at least. I guess this is goodbye, then. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be. Maybe we can get something to eat? Oh, George, I'm not so sure. Well, uh, no, I mean, as friends, of course. Um, well, when you put it like that, I guess that does sound pretty nice. Latina, I really miss spending time with you here. It was really great to catch up, you know? Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how funny you were, outside of work at least. Yeah, of course, you too. I forgot how much better you made my day when I was spending time with you. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm in the best mood ever. I used to always feel like this when I was around you. You know, okay, uh, Tina, look, um, I still really like you, okay? And really want us to be together. Look, George, I can't. Your life is just far too complicated for me, and I just want it to be simple, you know? Oh, well, right. No, I, I completely understand. I'm sorry, George. I, I have to go now. Okay. Bye, Tina. Oh, man. I'm gonna miss seeing her so much. <sighs> new house. Finally. Well, this is gonna be a new start. Oh, Tina! What are you doing here? Hey, um, 
I just wanted to tell you something. Look, I made a decision after we had our talk yesterday and I'm leaving. I'm moving out for good. I, I mostly wanted to just tell you this because I didn't want you to think I just disappeared on you, you know? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, why? I don't know. I mean, there's just nothing really here for me, you know? I mean, I just work at an ice cream shop and there's tons of them all over. So I think it's best for me to leave. Oh, well, yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, I have a plane to catch. So goodbye, George, and take care of yourself. Of course, uh, you too. So was that Tina? Yeah, Dad. She just told me. She's leaving. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you tell her everything that you wanted to tell her? Oh, I was too afraid to. I just don't want to hurt her anymore, you know? This whole situation with Gabby and Chad, it's just caused so much drama. It's made a mess of things. Ignore all of that. Ignore everyone else in this situation besides you two. You really think that she's the one? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, I do. Well then, son, I don't know how else to tell you this, but you gotta tell her that. Because I'll tell you what you don't, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You'll always be thinking of the what if, and take it from me, you don't want to experience that. Really? I should just throw everything on the table, just like that. At this point, what do you have to lose? You know yourself more than anyone. If she makes you that happy, then promise that you won't regret trying. No, Dad. You're right. You're absolutely right. I gotta go. I gotta go now. Uh, I think your flight's leaving soon. I gotta go fast. Uh, watch where you're going, loser. Uh, not right now, Chad. I don't have time to deal with you. I thought you learned already to not talk to me that way. I can talk to you how I want to. Do you think you're really all that, Chad? Deep down, you're just an insecure little baby. That's why you pick on everyone around you. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. All that's coming out of your mouth right now is just pure garbage. Oh my gosh, guys, stop it. Stop fighting over me. Gabby, I've had enough of you, okay? All this started because of you and you too, Chad. Chad. Y'all are just trying to ruin my life. Oh, can you get a load of this? What? A loser? Were you going to say loser? Can you think of another insult, Chad? Or are you too stupid to do so? Oh, I don't even know what insult means. Oh, you guys are wasting my time. I have to go right now. The girl I actually love is about to leave forever. <laughs> this guy loves someone. I bet they don't love you. Yeah, whatever. Go waste someone else's time then. Chad, that was so late. What? What do you even mean? Oh my gosh. Can you just hear yourself talk for once? We're through. George was right. I need to follow him so that we can get back together again. Wait, wait, no. No, 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 babe. I'm the perfect human being. Wait, George. I'm so sorry about everything. I want to get back together with you. Oh my gosh, Gabby. I'm done with you, okay? Tina is the one who actually makes me happy. She's the girl I want to be with. I would give anything to have another shot with her. And now I might never have that shot again because of you and Chad. Wait. Of that true? Oh, Tina. Yes, yes, all of that's true. I meant every word. The past couple of months, I've just been focusing on loving myself. But I want to be honest, Tina, the only one who ever brings the best out of me is well, you. Wait, really? I don't care if you're leaving, okay? I'll do whatever it takes just so we can be together. I love you, Tina. I love you too. And you know what? I think I want to give you another shot. I can't wait to surprise Becky with a gift for our anniversary. Huh? Where is she? Hey, is that Kyle? What's he doing here? Aaron can't know that we're cheating. Kyle, what are you doing oh, here? Uh, oh, Aaron. Uh, Aaron, we're just talking. You're and... cheating on me with my twin? Hey man, it's not like that. Becky just likes me more. Aaron, please just let me explain. No, I don't want to hear it, Becky. Can't believe you do this to me with my own twin. Hey, and you too, Aaron, Kyle. Wait. How dare you, man? I, I just can't believe this. I'm heartbroken. Hey man, can we talk? What do you want to talk about, Kyle? You stole my girlfriend! I can't help how I feel, Aaron. And besides, she wanted to be with me. My twin brother, Kyle. We're supposed to look out for each other. Look at yourself, Aaron. You're broke. You barely have any friends. Why would she want to be with Shut you? Shut up, Kyle. You know that I'm starting a business, okay? Are you kidding me? Is this really how it's gonna be? You know what? You deserve this! Ah! Ow! You know what? Get out, Kyle! Yeah, whatever. You're the lowest person I've ever met in my life! Gosh, I can't believe this guy. Oh, great. The phone's ringing again. Oh, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm not talking to Becky. I deserve better than this. Gosh, oh, she's calling again. Becky, what do you want? Aaron, I really need to talk to you about this. Can we meet up? No, oh, not tonight. I need some time to cool off. Maybe we can meet tomorrow for coffee. <sighs> okay, I'll see you then. I don't even know if I should meet her. Aaron, I'm so sorry. Are you, though? Sorry doesn't fix anything, Becky. This is pretty messed up. I know, but 
I never meant to hurt you. Why would you cheat on me with my twin brother? <laughs> Look, I just got mixed up. I don't really love Kyle. I love you. I literally heard you say, Aaron can't know that we are cheating. Well, um, <laughs> I was actually going to break up with Kyle right before he walked in. Wait, this is wrong. I can't believe you would do this to me. I can't believe he would do it to me. I just feel so betrayed. I'm really sorry. No, come on. I just really want things to go back to normal. I don't know if they ever can. And Kyle said that you didn't like me because I'm broke and I don't have anything. You know, I'm working really hard to grow my business. You know that. It takes time. I, I know. And believe me, I never said that I didn't like you because you were broke. I, I bet Kyle was just saying that to be mean, you know? Look, Becky, I'm just really confused right now. I gotta go. Okay, fine. But please, can we talk about this again later? Hey, Ashley, good to see you. Super fun party, huh? Yeah, I heard what happened with your twin. That's pretty low. I know. Still debating on getting back with Becky, though. Aaron, we've been friends for a long time, and to be honest, I think it's a really bad idea. You deserve someone who treats you right and someone who supports you. Maybe I'll take her back. I'm just so confused and hurt. I just miss her. Well, you're not getting back with her, Aaron. She's done with you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Kyle, after what you've done? You're still going to come in here and act like this? Well, maybe if you wanted to keep her, you should have treated her better. All you do is care about your stupid business that makes no money. I'm rich. My life is so much better than yours. Money shouldn't matter. All that matters is if we love each other. Well, she doesn't love you. Yeah, well, and you know what, too, man? Like, it's not even like you earned your money anyway. You're the one who won the lottery. Who cares? You are so jealous, dude. It's sick. Whatever, Kyle. At least I didn't turn my back on my own family. That's right, Aaron. Walk away. Just like you always do. And I'm sick of this. Hey, Becky, can we talk? Hey, Becky. Thanks for meeting me. Yeah, of course. What did you want to talk about? <sighs> All right. I've had a lot of time to think about everything that happened. Kyle. And honestly, maybe he's just a jerk. Oh my gosh, yeah, he totally is. To be honest, I never really liked him. I mean, he was just like really nice to me when you were working, and then he thought we should date, so I, I don't know. Well, that was a bad call. It hurt me a lot. I'm sorry, Aaron, but don't worry. I, I won't ever do it again. Becky, I don't think you know this, but I really love you. I was planning to marry you someday. Oh, I want to get married someday too. Let's just put the past behind us and move on. Look, I know it's not going to be easy trying to get everything off the ground with my business, but I promise someday I'll build the life that we want. Well, I believe in you, Aaron. Wait, hey, sorry. I have plans with my friend. I, I gotta get going. Okay, sounds good. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call later uh -huh. on. Y yeah, <laughs> see ya. Hey, babe, are we still going out for a fancy dinner tonight? <laughs> of course, hop in. There's a golden steak at the restaurant waiting for us. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is gonna be the first house that I'm gonna fix up and sell. It's gonna set everything in motion for Becky and I to have a future together. Finally feel good. I should call her. Oh, man, she didn't pick up again. That's weird, she hasn't been answering all morning. Maybe she's busy. <laughs> What are you doing here, Kyle? Well, I heard you were starting a new business, so I came here to check it out for myself. Okay, this is my project. What do you want? Are you serious with this? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, you're such a sucker. Honestly, you should have just hit the lottery well, like I'm I did. I'm earning my money, Kyle, okay? Not everybody gets to win the lottery. I'm working towards my future with Becky. Why'd you even come here if you weren't going to support me? I wanted to come tell you to your face that you need to leave Becky alone. If you cared about me as a brother, you would stop seeing her. Are you her. kidding me? No way! You're the one who cheated and turned your back on your twin. I didn't do anything wrong. She was my girlfriend first. I didn't turn my back on you, dude. I followed my heart. Well, then follow your heart away from me. Oh my gosh. You know what? Whatever. This house you bought sucks. Good luck trying to turn it into something that will make money. No wonder why Becky cheated on you. You're pathetic. I can't let him distract me. Oh man, that was a long day. Hey, Ashley. Oh, hey, Aaron. How was your day? Good. I finally got fixing up that old house that I've been working on. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so proud of you. I know you're going to be so successful one day. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Well, I really hope everything's smoothed over with Becky and Kyle. It has. Me and Becky are back together. Wait, really? Aaron, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you owe yourself more than being with her. You need more self-respect. 
But she was just confused. She never liked Kyle. That's what she told me. Becky's a liar. I saw her out with Kyle tonight, holding hands, walking down the street. No, that's impossible. Aaron, it's not. I'm just trying to look out for you. I think you just don't like Becky. Of course I don't. She treats her friends terribly. I'll talk to her about it. Maybe she was just breaking up with him or something. Well, I wish you luck. I gotta get going. All right, see ya. Ah, oh, she didn't pick up again. She hasn't answered all day. Maybe Ashley isn't lying. I don't know. I gotta figure this out first thing tomorrow. Where is Becky? She's supposed to be here soon. Seriously? What are you doing here? I came to talk to Becky. About what? Taking her back after you found out she cheated on you again with me? That's none of your business. Dude, you just need to move on, man. Becky is my girlfriend now. No, she's not. She has to choose between us. This isn't right. We have to end this. Hey, what's going on here? This again? You two are ridiculous. We need to talk this out once and for all. No, you gotta make a choice. It's either me or him. And it's obviously gonna be me. So stand back. Hey, stop it, dude. Stop it. Both of you. This is not how I want this to be handled. Well, I guess I got my answer then. Enjoy your jerk of a boyfriend. Aaron, wait. Well, at least I got this old house to fix up. Things are gonna get better. This is gonna be a big success. I'm gonna make it big in business. I know it. Hey, Aaron. How's it going? Come on, just leave me alone. What? I just wanted to see how you were doing and to support you. Oh, well, that's great. Just what I needed. Aaron, come on. I'm sorry. I just want to help you. Can't you just show up here and pretend like everything's okay. I know. I'm sorry, but I just miss you so much, and I want us to be together again. Why, Becky? Why do you want me back? Well, because I love you, Aaron. And I know that one day you're going to be so successful and big someday. And I want to be the one right by your side. Do you even care about me? Of course I care about you. Aaron, please, I'm so sorry. Can we work this out? I'm going on a vacation, but when I get back, I really want to talk to you more. I don't know, Becky. I got to think about it. Okay, I'll see you when I get back. No, I gotta talk to her before she goes. She's right. We, we should be together. Becky! Becky! Wait, what? What is she doing? <laughs> well, your stupid brother bought it. Really? Whoa, wait, of course he did. <laughs> yeah, and I saw that house he's been working on, and he is not gonna be making any money with it. I was thinking maybe we could just buy it from him for cheap and take over his business or something. I don't know. You are so smart with business, Becky. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, thanks. I love you too. Now let's go get on that private jet. Yeah, it should be this way. I can't believe it. Everything they said was a lie. So stupid. I never should have trusted her. I never should have trusted him. What am I going to do now? Oh, thanks, Aaron. Come on in. Can't believe it. Another year older. Yeah, I know. We're all getting old. Seriously? What are you even doing here, Aaron? I came to see my dad. That's it. Oh, <laughs> really? I thought you came to try and steal Becky back. She's my girl. Understand Seriously, that? Seriously, boys, stop fighting. I don't want to see my sons torn apart like this. Dude, you are such a stupid idiot. You're not going anywhere in your life. How's the renovations going? Well, it's better than sitting around like a lazy loser, okay? Oh, cool. You won the lottery. Well, you've never amounted to anything in your entire life. You think I'm the loser? You should look in the mirror. I'm the one sitting around here with plenty of money, dude. Look Look at you, broke as a Whatever, joke. Whatever, I'm out. I can't do this. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, come on, Aaron. Oh, hey, Aaron. What's going on? I didn't know you were going to be here. You want to catch up? No, we definitely shouldn't. Man, I got to stay focused. This has been a ton of work, but it's starting to improve. I think as long as I spend my time doing the right things, my life's going to get better. Hey, Aaron. Oh, hey, Ashley. Sorry to bother you. I just wanted to check on how things were going with the house. Going great. Thanks for asking. Oh, that's so awesome to hear. Hey, look, Ashley, I just wanted to say sorry, you know, about not believing you earlier. Sad to admit this, but I just didn't want it to be true, you know, but you're right about Becky and my brother. I know, and I understand. But hey, let's not dwell on the past. Well, if you're up for it, want to maybe grab dinner tonight? Yeah, I'm free tonight. Wow, this is awesome.
This is honestly one of the best nights I've had in so long. Yeah, me too. Thanks for being a good friend. Of course, Aaron. You know I'm always here for you. Aaron, what are you doing? Uh, hanging out with my friend. Oh, so you think you can just move on with this loser? Like, ew. Peggy, why do you want to keep ruining my life? Haven't you done enough? Please just leave me alone. What are you even talking about? You're crazy, Aaron. You're making things Becky, up. no, I'm not. You cheated on me with my twin brother. You messed with my head. You went on vacation with him when you told me that you loved me and wanted to marry me. I can't do this anymore. Please, just leave me be. Hi, Aaron. Go be with your little friend over there, and you two losers can live happily ever after. You deserve hey, each other. Hey, don't talk about Ashley like that. She's a good person and a good friend. Whatever. Bye. Are you okay, Aaron? Yeah, I'm okay. It just hurts to see someone you care about act that way. You know, I'm finally seeing who she really is right now. Good, I'm glad. But you know you're doing the right thing by walking away. You deserve better than that. I know I do, Ashley. Thank you. That's right, I just sold the first house. I'm gonna use this money to invest in another property. Wow, this is one of the best days of my life. Oh, jeez, I wonder who that is. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to say congratulations on selling your house. I always knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, but why are you here? I just wanted to talk. I miss you. What? Seriously, Becky? What are you doing here? I was just congratulating Aaron on the sale of his house. Oh, he finally sold the shack that he bought? <laughs> Dude, that's so lame. You better not be cheating on me with this loser. Ow! <laughs> Kyle! Come on, babe, let's go to Gucci. What is your problem? Get out of my house, both of you. I can't take this. Gladly. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this store. There's just like so many things I want to buy. Yeah, I know. And I'm so rich. I can buy you anything in this store. You can literally have whatever you want, babe. Oh, thanks, babe. Look at this. Oh, I want this one. Well, you should get it for me. All right, fine. Whatever you want, babe. Here, we'll take this. All right, sounds good. Let me just uh, run your credit card. I'm sorry, sir, but your credit card has been declined. What does that even mean? That's impossible. Try it again. Uh, I just did. It means that you don't have any money and you can't afford this purse. It's kind of Wait, embarrassing. Um, <laughs> what do you Well, mean? uh, if I can't afford this one, tell me something I uh, can't well, afford. Well, it looks like you can afford McDonald's maybe because it doesn't seem like there's anything in here that you're going to be able to buy. You're pretty what broke. What did you just say? That's ridiculous. I I'm not broke. Well, that's a nice story that you're telling yourself, pal, but I'm sorry. If you're not buying anything and you keep yelling at me, I'm going to have to call security. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Come on, Becky. Let's get out of here. Um, Kyle, how can you be broke? Hey, Aaron. Hey, Ashley. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Your business is really taking off. I know, it's really working. I'm gonna start buying entire neighborhoods soon. I can't believe how fast it's happening. That's amazing. You're doing so great. Thanks, Ash. Really appreciate it. You know, it's amazing what happens when you stop spending all of your time around people who don't even care about you. Yeah, I know. It's kind of sad my twin brother threw our relationship away from Becky. It definitely hurts. I know, but don't worry. You have great things coming. Thanks, Ash. Look, I gotta get to work now. I've got so much stuff to do. But we'll hang out later, okay? Of course, I'll talk to you then. Kyle, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you, dude. I need your help. And you've got some nerve coming here after everything. That you Look, did. stop, okay? I'm in serious trouble. My money has completely run out and I need cash quick. I'm gonna lose everything. Now you come crawling to me for help just like that? After everything that you said about me being a loser and being poor? You think I'm just gonna forget that? Yes, Aaron, because at the end of the day, I'm your twin brother. As your brother, I'm asking you, please help me. That didn't seem important to you the other day. <sighs> I know, and I was wrong, okay? I'm sorry. I felt insecure and I'm just jealous of you. Forget the past and help Fine. me. I don't want to see anything happen. Here's some cash, man. Thank you, Aaron. I promise I'm going to work harder and I'll make sure I get back on my feet. You'll see. Maybe we can get our relationship back up. I mean, you are my twin after all. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, I'll see you around. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you. Thanks again. Man, I got another deal coming. This is great. I'm going to make so much money this month. Aaron. <laughs> Just like I wanted to see. Come on, you keep doing this. What are we talking about now? It's over. Well, I don't know. I just wanted to come and talk to you because, like, 
Kyle and I are having some financial problems and it's really affecting our relationship. All right, well, I already gave Kyle a bunch of money. I'm not gonna bail him out again. Well, you see, that's not really what I'm asking for, Aaron. I just feel bad about what happened between us. And to be perfectly honest, I'm still in love with you. You love Kyle. Oh, uh, hold on a second, I get a call. Hello? Hey, Aaron, can we meet up? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll be right there. Sorry, Becky, I, I gotta go. Bye. No, I'm sorry, I can't door dash us food, Becky, okay? I have no money. I can't do this anymore. Kyle, I wanna break up with you. What are you talking about? You said you loved me. No, I never loved you. I've always loved Aaron. Aaron, seriously? You're leaving me for that loser? Um, excuse me. Looks like you're actually the loser. You're broke. I don't love you, and I don't want to be with you. Becky, wait, no! Oh, you think you're so smart, Aaron, don't you? You think you're better than me. Well, I'll show you. Ah! Ah, stupid house! Stupid Aaron! Ah, I hate it! I hate it all! This is gonna teach you, Aaron. Oh my gosh, what the heck happened here? Somebody came in here and just completely destroyed it. And I really hope this doesn't affect the home buyers. Oh my god. Wow, and the guy really said on the phone this is suitable for a family? Ew. Yeah, what kind of trick are you trying to pull on us right now? I'm sorry, this isn't the condition I was trying to sell this house in. Something happened. Yeah, something definitely happened. We're not buying this house. Come on, let's go and find another house. Oh, please, I can explain. Too late, scam artists, we're leaving. This can't be happening right now. This is incredible. This is the biggest deal I've ever done. Can you believe it, Ash? I I'm a millionaire now. All that bad press that happened, it was like one of the best things for me. I, I got to change my whole reputation. I got to help people. This is great. Well, of course I can believe it. You worked so hard for this. I've been really happy seeing you grow into this person that you've always wanted to be. Thanks, Ash. I really appreciate it. You know what? I, I don't know if I've told you this. But I like really <laughs> like- Gross. Oh, <laughs> hey, Aaron. Becky, go away. Hi, Becky. Wow, Aaron, I saw how awesome you were doing. And like, I'm so incredibly proud of you. I always knew you could do it. No, she didn't. Cool, thanks, Becky. H how's Kyle doing? Who? Oh, Kyle? He's broke. I haven't talked to him in a while, not since I gave him that money. Yeah, like honestly, who cares about him? I think we should catch up sometime. Becky, please leave. You know what? I was actually going anyways. And Aaron, maybe we should hang out sometime when you aren't around trash like this. Man, this is one of the best days of my life. Can't wait to just chill out and relax and... Oh, what's that noise? There's someone back here? Hello? Becky, what are you doing at my house? Look, I was just so upset that we couldn't talk earlier. Well, what do you want? Well, it's kind of hard for me to say, but I just really want to apologize to you for what I've done. You know, I made a really big mistake, like a huge mistake, because I only liked Kyle for his money. He was rich and I treated you badly because of it. It was stupid and I really, truly regret it. I hope you regret it. You broke my heart, Becky. I'm so sorry. I would never do it again. Please, please, can we just hang out and put the past behind us? I just wanna be with you and have you back in my life. Oh, Becky, my life is pretty bad when you were in it. It's gotten a lot better for me. Aaron, come on. Please, just give me a chance. I want one more shot to make this right. Guess we can just hang out and talk. Oh my gosh, yay! <laughs> that sounds awesome. I'll text you later with the details. Man, another house that I'm selling right now. This is insane. Business has never been better. Aaron, I, I need your help. I'm out of money again. I already gave you money last time. I can't keep bailing you out, man. Come on, Aaron, please. I just need help getting my life back on track. Money, please. I'm not giving you more money, Kyle, but I do have an offer for you. An offer? What are you talking about? Look, I'll offer you a position at my company. You can work for your money and get your life together. Work for you? Ugh, no way. I'm not gonna work for my loser brother. Well, that's how you actually make money, Kyle. You got lucky one time. And I'll get lucky again. Just help me, please. Oh, suit yourself, man. You don't want the job? I'm not giving you any more handouts. You know what? You're gonna regret this, Aaron. You're gonna regret it. 
<laughs> it's just so nice to spend time together again. Look, Becky, I just want to be clear. I only agreed to meet with you because you wanted me to. I don't think things are going to change between us. What do you mean? Can't you just please give me a chance? Look, Becky. What are you doing here with Becky? Ashley, I was just talking to her because she asked to catch up and I wanted to. <laughs> Get lost, Ashley. Can't you see that Aaron still loves me and you need to leave us alone? Oh my gosh. Seriously, Aaron? I did not expect this from you. Ashley, wait. Why would you say something like that, Aaron? Do you still have feelings for her? No, Ashley. I meant everything I said to you. I want to be with you. Really? So why did you meet up with Becky and kept it a secret from me? It makes me feel like I can't trust you. I just need some time to think about this, okay? I just want to be alone. All right, I'm sorry. I caught this ma'am's trying to snoop around your house and one of your permanies. Wow, what are you doing? I wasn't doing anything. Okay, that's nothing but lies, y'all. He claims to be your brother's, so I brought some here to you. Is that true? Yeah, he's my twin brother. Well, all right, dams. What were you really doing, Kyle? I don't know what you're talking about. What about the other property? Was that you that destroyed that last one? No. Why would I do that? I didn't do anything. I don't know. Why should I trust you? All you've been doing is lying to me for the last year. Well, you're not supporting me at all. You're not here for me when I need you. You won't get my support because you've been nothing but a jerk to me, man. I'm the one that's a jerk? Oh my gosh. Unbelievable, Aaron. You know what? I'm leaving. Yeah, you better. And don't come around my properties again or else I'll have you arrested. Hey, Ashley. Look, I told you I needed space. Please, I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. Just please let me say this one thing. I just don't want to lose you over a misunderstanding. You think this is about Becky? I wouldn't have cared if you met up with her if you just have told me. I just didn't think you'd understand. I didn't want to make things more complicated. That's your problem, Aaron. You don't seem to trust anyone because of Becky. No, I messed up. I just wish I could make it right. I just, I need more time to think. Can you just please leave? Yeah, sorry. I'll leave you alone. What do you think you're doing here, Kyle? Well, can I come in, please? <sighs> yeah, whatever, fine. So, what do you want? What's going on? Aaron won't give me any more money. Yeah, he's been cutting me off too. This sucks, Becky. I hate it. I need money. Ugh. But you know what? It doesn't matter. All this is going to change. Um, what do you mean? Well, I've planned the perfect robbery for us. We're going to break into his office when he's gone and steal all the money he keeps for his investments. Kyle. <laughs> Are you serious? Absolutely. And then I'll have enough money and I can take care of you. But what if we get caught? We won't get caught. I've planned this out perfectly. If it means I can finally have what I want again, then sure, I'm in. All right, awesome. I promise, everything's gonna go back to the way it should be. You and I are gonna be richer than ever. And Aaron's gonna be the poor loser. Well, this is quite the investment. No, I've been making so much money flipping the smaller homes. I know that I really want to expand. Okay, buddy, look, I don't need your life story. I was just making a statement here. Okay, but whatever, man. Look, I'm, I'm really excited about this deal. Yeah, I am too. I think this might work out. All right, we've got to stay quiet. and We've got to get all the money we can find. This is even more money from when I won the lottery. How is he so rich? That's so dumb. <laughs> this is awesome. I knew this plan would work. Oh, hold on a second. My phone's going off. Oh, no, I've got to go. Seriously, man? What's going on? Someone just broke into my office. I got to check it out. All right, fine, but we'll talk later. All right, time to find out exactly who broke in here last night. Good thing I invested in these security cameras. I knew it. I knew it. Becky and Kyle robbed me. Gosh, I need to do something about this. I got to call the police. Ash, what are you what are you doing here? Sorry, I'm I'm a little startled right now. I just got robbed. Wait, what? I just came over to say I was sorry for fighting with you. I, I should have understood why you kept it a secret. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I promise I'll never hide something from you again. Okay. Well, I love you, Aaron. I love you too, Ashley. Can't believe you just said that. I wanted you to say that forever. But look, right now, I, I gotta focus on this. Kyle and Becky just try to steal all of my money. I I'll, I'll be back. Don't worry. Okay, keep me updated. See, look, we're so rich. Ha, yes, we make such a good team. I know. 
I'm gonna go back to that Gucci store and buy everything in sight. And then I'm gonna smack that cashier in the face with the purse that he wouldn't let me That's buy. That's them right there. I have all the proof on my cameras. All right, I'm gonna do my jobs now, y'all. You two is on them arrest for break-ums and interims, criminal mischiefs, and being bad peepums, y'all. Seriously? How can you do this to me, Aaron? You're my twin brother. Ah, uh, Madison. This was all Kyle's idea. I don't care whose idea it was. And now you're gonna have to pay for what you've done. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem like anything's biting today. I don't know what my girlfriend Katie's up to. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. It sounds just like her. Wait a second, that is her. Is that my best friend Thomas? What are they doing? All right. Huh. Oh my gosh, you're <sighs> so... Uh, <sighs> Jerry, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, Katie. Oh, come on, man. We're just uh, hanging out. Katie, you know? are you cheating on me with my best friend? Of course I'm cheating on you, Jerry. What the heck? Yeah, look at him. I mean, he's really handsome, and he's super rich, and he's way stronger than you altogether. You're supposed to be my best friend. How could you do this to me? Yo, dude, just chill out, okay? How long okay? has this been going on? Two, three, six months. Six months? You and I are broken up, and I'm gonna live my life without you. Whatever, don't care. I can't stand to look at either of you right now. You're no longer welcome here. This is my boat. This is your dad's Bow. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, loser. And I think I let her borrow this, and I think that's about it. Got my stuff, and I'm out of here. Oh, Jerry? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hi, Jerry. What are you doing here? Well, Katie and I have broken up. I just came here to get my things. What? I can't believe this. You and Katie? Broken up? You guys are high school sweethearts. What happened? Why would you do this? Katie was cheating on me with my best friend Thomas. She would never do something like that. Yes, I agree. It was probably you that was cheating. What? And you probably just needed the excuse to break up with her. You know, Katie is way too good for you. I knew it from the start, didn't I, honey? Yes, you did say You that. have no business in my house. Get out. Fine, no problem. Jerry, there you are. Hi. What do you want? I think we should get back together. I changed my mind. What? No way. What do you mean, no way? You broke my trust and my heart. Jerry, stop being so stupid. Jerry, come back. Man, Carmen, we have been so busy the past couple days. Everyone's coming in to buy that new iPhone. And you seem a bit distracted. Are you okay? Distracted? What? No, I'm totally fine. I know you better than that. What's wrong? Well, I broke up with my girlfriend, Katie, because... Oh, babe, whatever. You can get whatever you want in here. I want the new iPhone 14. Anything for you, babe. Wow, Jerry, fancy seeing you here. Katie, you know I work here. Oh, yeah, you told me that. But I forgot because it was so boring. Yeah, super boring. Jerry, look at my new outfit that Thomas bought me. Would you ever buy anything like this for me? Probably not. I mean, look at his own clothes. This is a work uniform. Oh, yeah, whatever. Look, if you guys aren't going to buy anything, then you need to leave the uh, who is this poor girl and why is she talking to me? I don't know, babe. I think she works here. You know what? You can't tell me what to do. Whoa, Katie, what is wrong with you? Being around you just makes me so... All right, both of you guys, get out. Yeah, whatever. We're out of here. Come on, babe. Let me go buy you a new Birkin bag. That was your ex-girlfriend? Yeah, and my ex-best friend, too. Oh, my gosh. I I'm so sorry. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not going to let them get to me. So what? You're not super rich like that guy. I mean, he's probably never worked a day in his life. But they have no idea. I'm going to improve myself for my own sake, not just because we broke up. 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's a pretty good warm-up. One, uh, two. Oh, man, it's a whole lot harder than I thought. Man, I'm really kind of out of shape, aren't I? got to start from somewhere. But, man, I feel so weak. Oh my gosh, Jerry, you're such a weak loser. Yeah, you'll never amount to anything, man. <laughs> Ugh, no, no, I'm not a weak loser. I am going to better myself. And then we'll see who's laughing. All right, let's do some dumbbells. Get this going. Whoa, Jerry, over the past couple months, you've changed. You look really strong. Well, thanks. I've been hitting the gym almost every day and eating a whole lot healthier. I'm feeling a whole lot better, too. I'm so happy for you. Thanks, Carmen. I mean, it feels good to be, like, refreshed like this, you know? Kind of like I'm a whole new person. You know, self-care is really important, so I'm so glad that you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, uh, Carmen, hold on a second. Yeah, what's up? Um, are you doing anything Friday night? Uh, no, I think I'm free. Oh, yeah, yeah, so am I. Uh, 
Do you maybe want to go out to like dinner or go on a date or something? Really? Yeah, of course. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Friday night it is then. Um, do my eyes deceive me? Or did Jerry just ask that girl out? Am I just that forgettable? Is she just that much cooler than me? No, no one is. We'll see about that little date, Jerry. This was a really good idea. Yeah, it's been so much fun. I'm having a really great time with you, Jerry. And I'm having a lot of fun with you too, Carmen. I don't think anything could go wrong tonight. Attention, Attention citizens. citizens! The fair is, is now closed. closed. Everybody leave! Now! What the heck is going on? I thought the fair was going to be open for at least another hour. Yeah, unless you're rich and can kick everyone out. <laughs> yeah, and look who it is, Thomas. The poor loser. What are you guys doing here? Well, I closed out the fair for the last hour so Katie and I could just have it to ourselves. Yeah, you would never understand because you could never afford something like this. Yeah, Thomas, real cool flexing on everyone with your family's money. Yeah, well, at least I have a rich family, stupid idiot. Carmen, let's just get out of here. Arguing with these two is- Hold on, Jerry, I got this. You two are the most terrible, materialistic people I have ever met. Jerry's the best person in the entire world. And you know what, Katie? You made such a big mistake cheating on him. Excuse yeah, me? you heard me. All right, Jerry, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. What did they just say, babe? Shut Jerry, can you please come to my office? Uh, yeah, of course. Is everything okay? Am I in trouble for something? No, 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 you're not in trouble. There's just somebody that I want you to meet. Okay, sure thing. Jerry, welcome, hello, hi. Oh my gosh, you're Mr. Wilson, CEO of the company. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, Samantha, what's going on? Well, Jerry, you've been working really, really hard for this company. So much that I had to tell Mr. Wilson. Yes, I got an email from Samantha saying that there was someone down here I needed to meet. And that person is you. Oh, wow, I'm uh, just kind of overwhelmed. Now, you've been doing such a good job for my company. I think I have a position for you. Really? Am I going to be a store manager? No, we're actually bringing you to the corporate division of the company. You'll be working at the home office. Home office? Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, exactly. And with this new promotion, you're going to be getting a huge raise as well. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Wilson. And thanks, Samantha. This is an incredible opportunity. Well, you deserve it, Jerry. Congratulations. All right, today's the first day. You can do this, Jerry. Mr. Wilson, good morning. Oh, hey, Jerry, good morning. Welcome to the home office. I want to introduce you to somebody. Meet your new business partner. What the? Katie? Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? I just got promoted. What are you doing? Well, let's see. I took all of Thomas's money, broke up with him, and then I bought myself into this company. Now we can work together. Isn't that great? He's got some great ideas for the business, and I want you to take a listen to them. Partnering with Katie is not going to help the company. She's just doing this all for herself. What? No way. I have lots of great ideas. Plus, Jerry, Katie gave me a lot of money to join this company, and I could not refuse. You two uh, clearly have some history together, but you got to work through it. Business comes first. Katie, what are you up to? You're never going to get rid of me, Jerry. Just face it. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just work together and get this done. So, Carmen, what do you think? Oh, my gosh. This place is amazing. I know, right? I never thought I'd be able to afford a place like this. Climbing the ladder has really paid off. I'm so impressed, and I really am proud of you, Jerry. Thanks, Carmen, and I've got to say, I need to thank you, too. Thank me? For what? Well, you've always been there for me, been by my side, and supported me. I might be able to do this on my own, but it's a whole lot easier when the people I care about are there for me. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. Yo, does anybody have any spare change? Please, I, I could use some money. Wait a minute. Thomas? Jerry? What are you doing in this neighborhood? Thought only rich people lived here. Yeah, well, I just bought this house. What are you doing? Katie took everything from me. Took all my money and broke up with me and now I'm homeless, man. Feels really weird saying this, but I'm really sorry, dude. Yeah, man, is there anything you could do to help? Like spare some extra food or change or something? Thomas, do you even know what you did to me? What I did? Yeah, dude, you broke our friendship. You went behind my back and started dating my girlfriend. Look, that might have not been the smartest thing I ever did, okay? I'm sorry. You forgive me? Look, I want to mend our friendship and I do miss you. You were my best friend. I don't know if I can forgive you so easily. I, I get it, dude. I just want to be friends, that's all. Yeah, I do too. Why don't you come inside and get cleaned up and we'll order us some burgers or something? Wait, really? That'd be so awesome. Thank you. 
Oh, man, super late night at work. I cannot wait to get home. Well, there you are. It's about time. Katie, what's going on? What are you doing here? I wanted to apologize for everything that I've done to you. All right. I broke up with Thomas, and I want to get back together with you. I hate to say it to you, Katie, but I'm not interested. What? What do you mean? I'm not interested in getting back together with you. I don't want to date you at all. I'm with Carmen now. You're with her? I'm way prettier and funnier than she ever will be. Plus, I'm rich, and she's not. I don't care if Carmen's rich or not. She's a great person, and I love her. Yeah, but she'll never love you the way I love you. You don't love me at all. Are you insane right now? Ah! What are you doing? Gosh, Katie, stop! No, this is not... Katie, you are crazy! Whoa, whoa, now there's a fire? Oh, man! It's only the beginning. You're gonna regret not getting back together with me, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Can I get your help with something? Sorry, Katie. Can't help. I'm really busy right now. Do you not hear me? I need your help. Absolutely not. Why don't you go ask somebody else? No, I asked you to help me, so I need you to help me right now. Fine, let's just get this over with. So what do you need help with? Oh, oh my gosh! See, the computer's on fire! Oh my gosh, we need to put this out? Where are the smoke alarms? <sighs> all right, everybody. Hey, hey, what's going on in here? What's all the commotion? Oh my gosh, Mr. Wilson, Jerry is trying to destroy my office. Jerry, I can't believe you would do something like that. Sir, that's not true at all. I just got here and her computer was on fire. She probably said it herself. What? No, I didn't. It was all you. Right, I'm not playing the blame game, okay? We're all adults working in a corporate office. Let's be professional. Sir, I'm trying. But this is... No, I've had enough of all of this. Jerry, just get out, okay? What? Get out of this office. I don't even want to look at you right now. <laughs> I told you you would regret this. What is her cell phone number? I want to give her a piece of my mind right now. Uh, I don't think that'd be a really good idea. Katie's, uh, kind of crazy. Katie's not worth it, okay? I don't want to see you getting upset over this. How can I not get upset about this? She's sabotaging my boyfriend. This is personal. Katie is totally out of control. I can't believe you lost your job over this. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I can always get another job. I'm not going to let Katie bring me down to her level. It's just wrong, Jerry. It's not fair. I know it's not fair, but I'll be honest, I've been starting to think about leaving that company anyways. Whoa, really? Dude? Really? What were you wanting to do? I might start my own phone company. I mean, I've learned a whole lot over these past couple years, and I think it's something I could really do on my own. I believe you can do it. You can do anything. Yeah, dude, I agree with Carmen. And if you need help, I got your back. I might be broke, but I still know a whole lot of rich people. Oh, thanks, Thomas. I really appreciate that, dude. Yeah, man. I mean, what else are friends for? Oh, man, I'm glad to have you back. Once again, I want to thank everybody for showing up to the grand opening of my new phone store. I really, really appreciate this. I want my phones to change the world for the better. Hey, wait, look. What's going on? What the hell? Oh, God, I hate you, Jerry. I hate you. Katie, stop right now. Oh, my now. gosh, get out of the way. Ah! Seriously, Katie, you wanted to destroy my new business? Yeah, Jerry, you are nothing. Oh, you're the worst. You know, Katie, when I was with you, I used to think I was nobody. Thanks to you, I've turned myself into somebody important. All right, officer, I'm done. Take her away. Trishel, are you cheating on me? Um, yeah, kind of. And with Bo Dagger? Ha, oh, sup, dude? He's like the most famous YouTuber ever. Yeah, and now that Trishel and I are together, she's gonna be super famous too. We're iconic, like a super duo. How exciting. Trishel, are you serious? You're just gonna throw away all the years we were together? Sorry, things change. Get lost, loser. Hey, Kaden, how's it going? You've been sad all day. What's wrong? Well, the other night, I caught Rochelle cheating on me. Oh, yeah, that's right. What? Oh, everybody knows already. I mean, it's all over the internet. The famous Bo now has a new girlfriend. Check this out. Welcome to the Roblox Entertainment Report. I have with me Trishel and Bo. Trishel, you are the new it girl, absolutely blowing up everywhere on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, that's right. That's me. Hi, everyone. I'm sure it helps having one of the world's most famous YouTubers, Bo Dagger, as your boyfriend. Bo, how does it feel? 
Oh, uh, feels pretty good, man. You know, Trishel's really an awesome girl. Yeah, and it's super awesome because we're like so totally in love. Isn't that right, Bo? You're like everything. Yeah, I am everything. And I mean, we've been dating for months, but we decided to finally go public and it feels so much better. What? They've been dating for months? Are you kidding? I just found out about this yesterday. Whoa, dude. That's awful. I'm really sorry. I used to look up to Bo. He was my favorite YouTuber. Oh man, that's gotta be even worse. Are you sure you're okay? I think I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. I can't be here right now. What is going on? Is there a guy hiding in the bushes? Hey, you, I can see you. Well, look who it is if it isn't Caden. How do you know my name? Everybody knows about you, the loser boyfriend that Trishel dumped for Bo. Dude, this is my house. Get out of here. Dude, what is that all about? That guy's been waiting outside her house all day. Track, listen, this wasn't my fault, okay? It's all because of Trishel and her new boyfriend. They're dragging me through the media. So what, now I have to suffer because of your poor choices? I didn't know she was gonna break up with me. I didn't know any of this was gonna happen. Well, you need to figure this all out or else I'm moving out. Track, we're roommates. I can't afford this place all by myself. Well, you better figure it out and find a way to stop this or else. Subscribe to Shane Plays? <laughs> of course, that's silly. Everybody should have already done that. Cool poster, though. All right, now I gotta get some food for the house. Let's see. Oh, this looks pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see... Trishel? Oh my gosh, seriously? Did you just, like, bump into me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I just didn't see you. The nerve. Seriously, you didn't see me? I just can't believe you. Like, why are you even here? I'm just grocery shopping. No, you're stalking me because you can't get over me. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's Trishel and her ex-boyfriend, Kaden. Kaden, tell me, is it true you can't get over Trishel and you keep crying all night thinking about her? What? No. It's like so totally sad. And then he tweets about me all the time. I'm out of here. Wow, look at him run away. Such a loser. <laughs> so, Trishel, is that what you wanted? Yeah, that was perfect. Thank you. The more stupid we can make him look, the better. Yeah, I agree. Now I think it's time you do a little interview. And I'm rolling. All right, Trishel, tell me, how are you feeling? Totally devastated. I don't even know what to do. Kaden is like trying to make me seem like a bad person and saying I broke his heart. And like, that's just not the case. I feel like a victim right now. I just wanted to stay friends, but he is heartless and he can't even allow me to do that. She's just putting me on blast again to get more fame. It's so annoying. Yeah, I don't know, man. It seems to me that you're enjoying the intention. I mean, who wouldn't want to be famous? That's not true. If I was going to be famous, I don't want it to be for something like this. Well, this is it, man. I've had it. I'm moving out. At this point, I don't even want to be friends with you anymore. Track, please. I can't afford this place by myself. I can't move back home. I don't care. I'm packing my things. Maybe you should too. And I mean, you love being famous so much. So why don't you give that a go? Track, wait! I can't believe you're actually back home. Me, mom, and dad are actually so glad. Yeah, Bray, but this isn't really what I wanted. Well, sometimes that happens in life. It's just a little setback, but we always get through it. I don't know, dude. It just feels like my life is completely falling apart. And it always feels like that when you're in the middle of it. But once you're out of it, you'll see. But for now, you just gotta buckle up and handle it. Just don't let them upset you. You'll have 10 minutes to escape, or you'll... Um, I'm sorry, what was the line? You are absolute trash! I'm sorry, I'm just really nervous. It's my first time trying this. You have literally no skill acting whatsoever! Someone give me band-aids for my eyes! All right, just, just give me one more shot. Trishel wouldn't give you second shot, so why would I? Listen, all of that stuff is just a misunderstanding. You thinking you can act is a misunderstanding. Now get out! Hey, hey, stop, stop. You, you gotta get out of there, man. What's going on? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, everything was perfect, uh, besides the fact that nothing was good at all. Yeah, you're awful. I was in band for years. I'm not that bad. Yeah, what did you play? The triangle? Get out of here, man. Ah, oh, nothing seems to be working. Whoa, look who it is. I heard you were down here trying to record an album or something. I wanted to see it for myself. 
What? How did you hear about this? I'm friends with the sound guy, obviously. I know you're trying to get famous and stuff, but let me tell you, it's not going to happen. I'm going to be famous one day. Probably more famous than you. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Maybe comedy is your gift. Try to be famous all you want. It's not going to happen, and I'm going to make sure of it. Hey, Kaden, where have you been, man? How did your audition go? I saw some stuff on the news. That's on the news too? Come on! When am I ever gonna get a break? Well, I mean, it's all about your mindset towards things. And right now, it doesn't feel like you're looking at things positively. It's hard to look at things positively, dude, when you've got super famous Bo running around talking about how awful you are. Well, then why do you want to be like him so bad? What makes him so special? Trishel chose him over me. Obviously, he has something I don't. You just need to forget about him and Trishel and everyone else. I mean, it's obviously her loss. No matter how hard I try, it seems as though nothing's gonna work out for me. Nothing will when you're trying to be someone else. You can never be a better Bo than Bo is, but you can be a better you than anyone else can. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, there's only one me, right? Exactly, and I know that my little brother has his own dream. You never wanted to be famous. You wanted to save lives. I always used to ask mom and dad for those play doctor sets at Christmas. I always thought being a doctor was like the coolest thing ever. Exactly, and Bo can't do that, but you could, and that's what matters. Shane Play's holiday tie-dye shirt and long sleeve are still available for a limited time only. Only one month left, and they'll be gone forever. Head over to ShanePlays.shop and pick one up today. This party is amazing, don't you think, Fifi? Yeah, like it's totally the coolest party ever. Still can't believe I ran into that idiot Caden the other day. He's so trash. <laughs> what happened? We need the deets. Oh, he was just crying to my friend, trying to get a record deal. Wait a minute. You're friends with a sound guy? Yeah, Milo and I have been friends for like years. Well, this is so totally perfect. Like I've always wanted to be a singer. You should totally introduce me to him. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, Trishel. Bo, what's wrong? You've been acting like so weird and distant. Listen, I'm gonna go take some selfies with the other celebs here. Whoa, Trishel, like what is your issue? Maybe I made the wrong choice in cheating on Caden. Bo is kind of a jerk. He only cares about himself and like, why not me? I don't know, you're super famous now and you weren't before when you were dating Caden. So like, I think you did the right thing here. Maybe you're right, I don't know. So you see, sir, that's why I wanna to apply to medical school. I wanna become a doctor. Listen, kid, medical school is no joke, all right? I know how hard this is going to be, but I'm ready for it. I've been saving up my money for a while. I'm just trying to follow my dream. Just hand me your stupid application. Let me take a look. Here you go. I've got all my references attached too. You can see that I had good grades in school. Denied. What? I'm turning you down because of who you are. You and those celebrities. Thinking you can just get whatever you want. Well, not today, buddy. But I'm not a celebrity. Uh, what seems to be going on over here? This guy is bugging me, all right? I told him to leave. I'm just trying to apply for medical school. Are you another student? No, of course not. I'm a doctor and a professor here. Uh, give me the application. Let me take a look at this. All right, fine here. Well, see, it's, it's absolute garbage, right? Actually, this application's incredible. It's probably the best one we had in like a few months now. What's your problem? You're going to turn this guy down? You have any idea who this guy is? It's not fair. You're judging me on what other people say about me. Here, take this application back and make sure you enroll him as a student. Put him in all my classes. I'll help you become an incredible doctor one day. No, I'm not taking that. Sir, please, this medicine is gonna help you feel better. What do you know? You're just a stupid intern. I'm gonna need to ask you to calm down, okay? He's a highly qualified person. I know who this guy is. He's all over Instagram and the internet. Biggest loser of a lifetime. I watch Bo Dagger on YouTube all the time. He's so much better than you. Sir, that has nothing to do with this. I'm just trying to help you. Well, I'm not gonna accept your help. Kaden, I think you should go take a walk. Yeah, fine, whatever. Oh, it's so annoying. Hey, I think it's important to remind you that you shouldn't let your past affect what's going on now. I know, Dr. Banner. It just, it just gets so frustrating. I mean, it's been six years. 
You'd think people would forget about this by now. The only answer I can give you is to stop caring what people say about you. I've been trying to be better about all of this. Fame isn't everything. Exactly. Just keep doing you and keep improving where you need to. You're going to be an incredible doctor one day. Hello? I'm ho- What is going on here? Trishal, you weren't supposed to be home for like another hour. Well, I'm home now and what exactly is going on? How long has this been going on for? I don't know, like a couple years maybe. I could not believe this. Like, you were supposed to be my best friend friend my bad listen fifi let me just talk to trishel alone okay here why don't you go buy yourself something nice cool i cannot believe this about like my heart is broken after we got together and we got super famous it just was obvious we had to stick together but we don't really have a whole lot of chemistry trishel whatever fine then we should probably just like wake up that means you won't be famous anymore. You'll just be a poor nobody. Honestly, it might be better than being with you. You're heartless. You gotta have tough skin if you're gonna make it in this industry, Trishel. So you have to make a choice. If you wanna be super famous, you can stick with me. If you wanna be a poor nobody, go on your own. All right, all this stuff passed the trials. I think it's a cure for that guy's illness. I've gotta go give it a try. Well, sir, this is it. It's mildly experimental, but I think this will actually help you. If you say so. Oh, wow, I feel incredible. I think you did it, Doc. I think you cured me. I'm glad, but this isn't just gonna cure you. It's gonna cure everybody that has the same illness too. You're the best doctor ever. Dr. Caden, there he is, the man I'm looking to see. Oh man. Let me guess, you're here to talk about how awful I am and blah, blah, blah. Absolutely not, no. We heard about the cure you developed. It's going viral on the internet. And you are famous now. Well, honestly, I really don't care about the fame a whole lot. All I wanted to do was to help people, make people feel better and do my job. Wow, famous and humble, incredible story. This is gonna go all over the news. Now tell me, was being a doctor your dream? I got a little sidetracked. I didn't think it was going to be my dream, but I stuck true to myself, and I made it happen. Excuse me, Dr. Caden? You might want to look at this. Bo Dagger has officially broken up with his girlfriend, Trishel. The biggest celebrity couple of the century is now over. Wow, that's crazy. Just wonder what could have happened. You know, usually in cases like this, the boyfriend always cheats, and that's what the rumors are saying. Oh my gosh, Kaden, don't you look adorable as a doctor? <laughs> Trishel, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. So cool that you're like a world famous doctor now, right? Congrats, it's so exciting. Thanks. I mean, I just enjoy being a doctor. The famous part doesn't really matter to me. But what do you want, Trishel? You know, I've just really been soul searching and thinking and like, we should definitely get back together. Wouldn't that be amazing? No, I'm not getting back together with you. After everything that you put me through, I finally got my life together and I'm on the right track and I'm following my goals and I'm not gonna let anybody stop me. And chances are you only wanna get back together with me because I'm a rich, famous doctor. Wow, okay, whatever. I seriously wish you the best, Trishel, and I hope you find something that will make you happy. I can't believe it. It's me and Steph's one year anniversary. This past year has been so great. I love hanging out with her and I really wanted to do something special. So I got her sold out tickets to this concert that she's been wanting to go to. I had to spend so much money. It took me like two weeks to save up for it. I really hope that she likes it. Cause tonight I'm gonna tell her that I love her. I need her to know exactly how I feel. Uh, Steph? Who's this? Oh, uh, Todd. Hey, uh, this is my friend Jason. Hey, what are you talking about? I thought I was your boyfriend. Who is this guy? That's not true. Me and Steph have been dating for a year. You're a liar, okay? You're not her real boyfriend. 
Will the two of you just stop? Come on. Uh, Todd, this is just my friend Jason. He's visiting from out of town, and there's nothing to worry about. I just can't believe that you would do something like this to me. Hey, why don't you shut your mouth and get out of here? No, why don't you shut your mouth and you get out of here? That's it. You made me do this. Ow! Oh my goodness, Todd. I'm so glad you're doing okay. Jason punched you really hard. What do you care? This is supposed to be our anniversary, and you've been dating somebody else the whole time? No, no, Todd. Come on. You have to listen to me. That's not true. How can you say that's not true? That guy literally just told me that. Look, he means nothing to me. We dated a couple years back, and he's just still kind of obsessed with me. There's no need to worry, Todd, because I love you. You're my boyfriend. What? You really do love me? I was gonna tell you that, and then all this stuff happened. I can't believe this. No, it's true. I really, really do. I care about you, Todd. Wow. Alright, well this sort of changes things. I mean, let's just put the past in the past, but I want to spend more time with you. I actually got you surprise tickets to that concert that you wanted to go to, just for the two of us. You can take them, just keep them safe. Oh my gosh, really? <gasps> this is amazing! Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll for sure hold on to these two tickets, because you always lose everything, Todd. All right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, let's meet at the hub tonight, and then we'll go see the show together. I love you, Todd. You're the best. <laughs> Hey everyone, just wanted to remind you that my brand new Shane Plays plushie is for sale right now. Make sure you head over to ShanePlays.shop or click the store on my channel to order one today. And just like that, Marcy, he believed my lie. <laughs> he totally thought Jason was like my ex-boyfriend or something. Oh my gosh, are you for real? That's hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? The two boys were fighting over me and it was like a dream come true. I should have recorded the whole thing and that way we could have had like a big laugh later. <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest thing. So like, are you and Jason gonna go out tonight? Well, thanks to Todd's little anniversary gift, I'll be using that on my date tonight with Jason. Oh my gosh, are you serious? You're taking his gift and using it on your other boyfriend? <laughs> You're insane, girl. I know. <laughs> Honestly, I can't decide what boy is more fun to manipulate. I mean, Todd buys me whatever I want, and then Jason gives me money and stuff, so it's really a tough decision. Yeah, but don't you think Todd's gonna be like a little suspicious when you don't show up for the concert? Oh, no, no, no. See, I'm gonna totally throw him off the trail and tell him that I got sick, and then that way, Jason and I can just go to the hub and Todd won't be there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Steph, you are next level. You need to text me all the dates. Oh my gosh, yeah, I totally will. My gosh, I'm so excited to go to this concert with Steph. I don't really like the singer all that much, but it doesn't matter. She's just gonna be so happy. Oh gosh, I love her so much. I'm glad we were able to put all that stupid, silly stuff behind us. Oh, Steph's calling. Hey, Steph? <coughs> um, hey, Todd. What's going on? You sound like you don't feel well. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sick. <coughs> so I can't make it tonight, okay? Oh, no. That's not good. I guess I can come over and I'll make you soup or something. No, no. Um, <coughs> yeah, I just don't want you to get sick, too. <coughs> no, it's it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'll be fine. No, look, see, I'd really love it if you just stay home and, like, not come over. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, that was weird. I don't know what to do. I mean, I paid for those tickets and now we can't go to this concert. <sighs> Gosh, this is not how I wanted this night to go, but it is what it is. If she's sick and she doesn't want me to come over, then that's fine. Maybe I'll go get some ice cream to cheer myself up. I 
am so excited for this concert tonight, and I can't believe Todd fell for that lie again. Gosh, he is just so dumb. I mean, I kind of feel bad that he's that gullible, <laughs> but whatever, not my problem. Hey, Steph, uh, look, I got to talk to you. Yeah, what is it, Jason? I'm sorry I got mad early about that stupid guy. Aw, that's okay. I forgive you. Good, I mean, what's the deal? Do you, you actually care about that guy, or what's his problem? No, not at all. I care about you, Jason. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. All right, I trust you, and I love you too. I mean, you're the best person in the world. <laughs> I know, right? But hey, look, I have two sold-out tickets to the concert tonight. Would you want to go? Yeah, that's awesome. I'm super down for that. And then maybe we could grab ice cream after. Oh my gosh, yes. Mint chocolate chip. I'm living for it. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. My gosh, this day can't get any worse. can't believe they didn't even have my favorite flavor. Hey, Todd. Oh, hey, Beth. What's up? Not much. Hey, uh, you seem kind of down. Is everything okay? I don't know. I've kind of been through a lot. Long story short, I was supposed to go to this concert tonight with my girlfriend, Steph, and she got too sick and she couldn't go. Wait, seriously? She got sick? I mean, I saw her earlier and she seemed like perfectly fine. Are you sure she's telling you the truth? Well, I don't know. I mean, I saw her too and she wasn't sick either. Huh. You kind of got me thinking about that. But she wouldn't do anything. She promised she'd be honest from now on. I don't know, Todd. I don't want to start anything, but maybe she's not telling the whole truth. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Like I said, she promised to be honest from now on, so I, I don't know if that's a problem. Uh, maybe I should just go over there and talk to her. That's the only way I'm going to get the truth. Yeah, you're probably right. But hey, uh, good luck with that. And if you need me, I'll always be here for you. Thanks, Beth. I really appreciate that. You're a great person. Hey, Steph, are you home? Sorry, I, I, I just wanted to check on you. I, I had a bad feeling. My gosh, she's not here. Or she's been kidnapped or something. Dude, can you, like, quiet down or something? Oh, hey, sorry. I was looking for Steph. Well, look, like, she's not here, and she's hanging out with her actual boyfriend. So, like, you can leave now. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? I'm her boyfriend. Mm, I don't think so. She ditched you to go hang out with Jason. No, that can't be true. Why would she do that? And why would you tell me? You're probably lying. Honestly, like, why would I lie about that? It doesn't make any sense. Well, you're her friend. Why would you tell me this? Honestly, because I'm bored and I don't really like Steph. So, like, why would I lie? I don't know. I just can't believe that she would ditch me. Oh my gosh, I just hoped that she wouldn't lie to me again, but looks like she did. I gotta go find out why. Oh dude, I can tell you why. She's been using you the whole time, because you're super gullible. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. Hey, Beth. Steph, what's up? Thought you weren't feeling very well. Ugh, did Todd tell you that? It's so weird that you hang out with my boyfriend. Look, Steph, I need to talk to you. What is it? I don't really have time to listen to you. Look, I'm just going to come out and say it. You do not treat Todd very well, and you should stop using him to buy you things. You're so weird, Beth. I'm his girlfriend and I can do whatever I want. You can't tell me how to live my life. Well, I can tell you to stop using someone. That's not right, okay? Whatever, Beth. You're so annoying. Oh, yeah? Well, I know that you've been hanging out with Jason lately. Wait, what? You do? Yeah, like the whole town knows. Oh my gosh, uh, no, it's not true. Yeah, it totally is, and I am going to tell Todd. No, please, 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 please. Beth, don't, don't say anything. Come on. Look, you need to tell him the truth, or I will. Ugh. 
is so annoying. Beth, you're the worst. What are you doing here? I can't believe you'd lie to me again. You were with that other guy and you called him your boyfriend. What? No. Where did you get this information? From your stupid friend Marcy. She ratted you out. I mean, even she doesn't like what you're doing. Well, you know what? She's just lying. She's jealous. She's always been jealous of me. You can't listen to them, Todd, okay? It's not true. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have gone to the concert with someone else. You lied to me. You broke my heart, Steph. Look, Todd, I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. No, I'm done. Just please leave me alone. I don't want to see you ever again. You know what? Whatever. I already maxed out your credit card, you stupid loser. You did what? That's illegal. You stole from me. I'm going to call the police. Yeah, go ahead and try. Get out of here, weirdo. Hey, Beth, thanks for coming over. Yeah, of course, Todd. I'm so sorry about everything that happened with you and stuff. It's okay. I mean, I guess I'm better off without her. I'm just so stupid. How could I have cared about somebody like that? It's so frustrating. Look, Todd, you're not stupid. She was just crazy. You're a nice guy, and you really cared for her. She was lucky to have you. I appreciate that, Beth. And I'm just really happy that I actually have someone in my life like you that really gets me, you know? And really, like, doesn't judge me or doesn't lie to me. Yeah, of course. I'm always going to be here for you, Todd. I really appreciate that. Hey, do you want to go grab some ice cream together? Oh my gosh, yeah. That'd be so fun. I hope they have Rocky Road. Rocky Road.